Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy, for one reason, out of many, because I wait till I start a video and then I put on my chapstick as if I didn't know my lips were dry and I didn't know I was going to do a video. The troll, because I consider myself a troll, a cute troll when I put on face paint, but a troll nonetheless. Today's video is a get ready with me in the morning and there's a clock over there, so that's what I'm looking at and I don't have my glasses on, but I believe it's almost 11 o'clock, so by the time this uploads, it might be like 12.30 or 1 p.m., but this is getting ready with me. I just woke up about a half hour ago. I'm nocturnal, so I have my orange juice. I have my granola and Activia. So good morning. I've already washed my face with the Garnier Skin Active, the Gentle Sulfate Free Cleanser. Gently foams to remove oil, impurities, and makeup for soft, healthy looking skin. All skin types, even sensitive skin. No sulfates, oil, soap, alcohol, or fragrance. Dermatologist tested for gentleness. My partner had purchased this, and I tried it. My skin loved it, so I purchased it. And so this is what I use usually in the morning to wash my face. So my skin is combination oily around here. Actually, I'll just say combo because around here, um, except in the winter, is pretty much normal. My T-zone here, around here, and here always gets oily. In the wintertime, this gets very dry. And so that's my skin type. And I do have sensitive skin. I'm sensitive to fragrance. Um, I don't have my masks yet. I ordered some from Amazon about two and a half, three weeks ago. I'm still waiting for those to come in. And so I have a neck scarf that I wore when I went to ShopRite. And it broke my face out. So this started up again. And I've been trying to calm this back down. And then I had um, like another dry patch over here somewhere. So, yeah. So after I wash my face... I use the Dr. Dennis Gross Ferolic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. And you only need half a pump. And I just put that much on my finger. And I tap it against my other finger. And this I like because you can also use it on your eyelids. And so... I have all this extra skin up here, so I want to see if that's going to tighten that up some. I have I had more on this finger, so that's why I'm coming over here with it. And so, and it does dry quickly. It does tighten. And so you want to be gentle when you put this on and not pull your skin because already it's, I don't know if you can see it. I was tightened on my skin already. So, so that's that. I do have a cloth here. I just purchased, well, I just received um, two of his eye creams. I purchased all this stuff with my own money because I also wanted an eye cream that can I can also use for my eyelids because I understand your serums is one thing and then your moisturizer locks in the serums or something they say and it could just be BS and I fell for it. I don't know. So I ordered his Ferolic and Retinol eye cream. Um, this one you cannot put on your lids. So it says to place it like on your inner bridge, under your eye, and above your brow bone. His SOS um, Stress Eye Cream, you can put everywhere. You can put underneath your eye and on your lid. So in both of these, you can use AM and PM. So I'm going to use, excuse me, one in the morning and one at night and see if it helps. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet. I haven't tried these at all yet, so I'm kind of like, <laughs> But I like the idea of having something else that I can put on my lid up here. And the reviews on Sephora were mixed. And so we will see. Actually, I'm going to do the stress one today. And so I'm going to just do that right now. I always smell stuff. Because even if it says no fragrance, sometimes they do still have a scent. And I think that is too much. So I have this much. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to rub that in very gently under my eye, in the corners of my eye. I would love to know what you guys think of these products. And also, I, I've been watching um, James Welsh 
and Hiram, skincare by Hiram. And I'm curious of what they think of this brand. <laughs> and I'm also curious as to what they think of the Peter Thomas Roth brand. And so I'm such a small channel. I'm sure they don't know who I am, but I would love to hear what they think. And then I use um, the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Serum. It has 20% 20 per, 20 um, vitamin C, and it's the THD Abscorbate. 3% vitamin E, which is an anti antioxidant, and 2% folic acid. And so I just pump this onto my hand and put this everywhere, including on my chin. Well, under my chin and because I have this partial bag thing. So I'm trying to see if any, any or all of these products together will help with that and so i just recently within the last month started um putting stuff under my chin the next thing i do is that vitamin c serum is really sticky well it does get sticky so i'm gonna take a bite let that soak in a little bit i'm out of control And well, the next thing I do is, because I don't like the tightness that that gives my skin, <laughs> I use my um, Olay Regenerous Regenerating Serum, and I just put that everywhere. This has some really good stuff in it. Check the Olay.com website to see the ingredients in here. And I have a nice shot up my nose. Look at that. <laughs> If my skin does still feel really dry, I will also still use the Bashia or Bosha Subaki Beauty Oil, but it's not feeling really dry today. And so I'm not going to use that. Because I do have these flare ups, I'm going to use a little bit of the Dr. Dennis Gross Stress Repair Face Cream. This is a sample. My skin does like it, and I use this after I do the Alpha Beta pills because. Uh, it irritates my skin just in patches I get redness so I did purchase the full size one because my skin does like this and so I only use it when I feel like my skin is stressed and so <laughs> I do still put it all over though just a little bit because I don't want to have a ton of product on my face and this is a very thin cream it does have a scent to it I believe it's a natural scent from the products that are in here. It's not a perfumey scent. Like there's not like rose extract or anything. I believe it's not in here. And so we're going to let that sit for a second. And then the next thing I'm going to put on. <laughs> Take another sip of my orange juice. I should have hot tea, right? Oh, while we're waiting for that, that was um, Activia. <laughs> Live well, laugh often, love much. I love these mugs. I will walk by faith even when I cannot see. Second Corinthians 5, verse 7. The next thing I do is the Peter Thomas Roth Potency... Moisturizer, this will last me probably until it expires, which is 18 months, because I only take a little bit on my finger, and I use it as a spot treatment for blemishes, and it does seem to help clear them up quicker than, when, than if I don't use it. And so I just rub that in a little bit. When I was using this at night, I found the best way was just a, a very small amount over my entire face. It has, it has turmeric in it, or turmeric, however you prefer to pronounce it. And that's what the scent is that people talk about smells horrendous in here. 
So this is what I do with this. And so that does not go all over. The final thing I do is I use the Olavi Generous Whip with sunscreen, broad spectrum, SPF 25. I know they say you should get you should use more than that. Every time I use a a separate sunscreen, an individual sunscreen, whether chemical or mineral, it breaks my face out. And so I just keep coming back to to this. And so I put this all over. I do kind of put a generous amount not that I need it under my chin, but I do put, I think this is a generous amount, um, because you need to in order to have the sunscreen benefit. This works well under my makeup. I sweat easy anyway. This doesn't make me sweat any more than if I didn't use it. And I still use the primer. I've started doing this lately and it just feels good, like massaging my neck. I forgot to bring out something. I'm going to go get something. And I'll be right back. Did you miss me? <laughs> something that I purchased recently um, was the Peter Thomas Roth um, Firm Collagen Moisturizer. Seven forms of collagen and collagen supporting ingredients, fine lines, wrinkles, firmness, dryness, leave skin plump with moisture. I purchased this for under here for this right here my partial double chin and I found out very quickly you only need a little bit because <laughs> I put a lot on and I've only been putting it on my neck because I'm like there's enough serums and creams on my face already and I'm not particularly concerned with wrinkles except just a few under my eyes and a discoloration under my eyes which I do feel like has been getting better since I've been taking better care of my skin so I had like slathered this on and once it dried when I would rub it, it would like ball up and peel off. Look at that. It's, ooh. And so I found out you only need just a little bit. Just a little bit. So I take like that much. <laughs> and I rub it in. And I immediately, when I first used this, I immediately felt it. Once I rubbed it in. felt the tightening my skin so I'm thinking this will work I'm hoping <laughs> it will work and so we'll see so this is my neck all the way back so maybe in like two months I need to do this again and see is this really as prominent as it is right now today is April I'm gonna check my phone this is my phone is up here um <laughs> I believe today is April 24th so this is what I do with this and so that is it. And so thank you for being here. I may do a makeup look later. I'm not sure. I have not been wearing any makeup at all. And I keep saying that I am just because. But I'm not going to babble. So if you guys have any questions about any of these products. Again, my skin is normal to dry combo. My T-zone always gets oily. Around here is pretty much normal. Except in the winter it gets extremely dry. I do have, you know, lines, wrinkles, bags and some marks from popping stuff and not being good to my skin so those are the issues i have and this under here and so when i find something my skin likes i i tend to stick with it i'm also sensitive to fragrance and sensitive to other stuff i'm sensitive to nickel too so if something has nickel in it or cobalt it will break my skin out if it has a lot of like rose extract extracts or other nature extract type stuff because I do have allergies, my skin will break out. Um, and I also have to be careful with how much vitamin B that I use. I cannot take a vitamin B supplement, I break out in hives. And some of these products, especially the Olay products, they do have vitamin B peptides in it. Vitamin B peptides? Peptides are different than vitamin B. Some of the products do have vitamin B in it. Um, so I find when I use other products with more vitamin B in it, it'll irritate my skin. Like this is one of the products that has a vitamin B in it and other stuff in it. And my skin loves this. But when I tried the Olay um, Tone Perfecting Serum, which also has vitamin B and vitamin C in it, it broke my face out. So I think it was just too much of the vitamin B. And so I do need to be really careful of what I use because my skin does break out whenever it feels like it 
And so, if you guys have tried any of these products, let me know how they worked for you. If they didn't work for you, let me know that too. And if your friends are tight like that with James Walsh and Hiram, you know, ask them to do a, um, what is that, a reaction video? Because I'm all for positive criticism. I'm just curious what they would think of this video. Um, so thank you for watching, and you'll see me in the next video. Bye.